At last year's possible, our first ever, I introduced the idea that the marketing profession, I might suggest, is no further along than the medical profession was in the mid-1800s when they thought bloodletting was a good idea. Now, for those of you who don't know, potentially, bloodletting was what the medical profession for thousands of years believed to be true, which is that when there was pressure in the body, that elimination of that pressure was what would prevent disease and cure what ailed you. The problem, as you might suggest or understand, is that it was killing people. In fact, our first president of the United States, George Washington, died of bloodletting. So I'm here today to talk about what I believe to be a bit of an epidemic within marketing and where we, MMA, I, believe we need to go. We need to modernize and professionalize the marketing profession. Now let me give you some examples of that. Last year, I introduced this concept of a net promoter score for marketing departments. Would you recommend your marketing department to a friend or colleague? The essence of net promoter score, one of the big cores of our business. That net promoter score is a negative 2%. Ouch. Now, to be fair, some marketing departments suggest that they are upwards of 50%, which means that there's a whole another group of them that are at negative 40%. But this year, I've noticed a new epidemic, a new affliction, I should say. And that affliction is that we are too busy to do better, even when better is potentially obvious. That's our challenge. Now, I'm a small business owner, incentivized for the performance of my company. And as you'll hear me say in a few moments, if you came to me with some small modicum of evidence that, for example, that I could take 10% of my business and double its performance, I would not just clear my calendar, I would clear the calendar of my core team for the next two weeks. And that's all we would focus on. That's how I'm incentivized. I'm not so sure that the marketing profession is similarly oriented or inclined all the time. Now, if you don't know, the medical profession's Hippocratic Oath in essence says that I stand on the shoulders of science that has come before me, sharing freely the science I develop in order to make my profession better. That is the Hippocratic Oath. We will do better. Now, possible the reason the global board of the MMA and myself decided to create Possible was that we wanted to be able to give you hope and a platform to hopefully share with you where value creation could exist. Now I'm gonna ask you something at the very end of this presentation, a short presentation, and I'm gonna ask you to try to make a decision on something, okay? But that's gonna come more at the end. Now, it should be obvious that knowledge is power. There's limited question about that, right? And MMA, if you don't fully know, is a nonprofit trade association here for the greater good of marketers and CMOs. Our job is to help marketing become more impactful, to build more knowledge, to strengthen its role within your companies. That is the underlying thesis. Let me give you a couple of examples of some of the ways that we're doing that today. One is that we have developed some research focused on the dynamics being long and short, brand versus performance, or brand as performance, better said, that really suggests that $100, here's what we know today, that $100 gained today from a campaign, and you're easily able to measure that today, what you've not been able to measure is the long tail, which isn't the typical long tail of nothing, it's actually a big arc, that we will actually produce an additional $500 in revenue sales from that campaign relative to the first 100 gained. We didn't know that to date. In fact, 
We, MMA, didn't know that until about four or five weeks ago when we processed the research that we were doing. And this is not to suggest that not all companies are trying to do better. This research actually comes from Kroger's and a number of other MMA board members that have always worked aggressively to try to understand what it means to do better. My next example is that MMA has been doing work around Marketing Org. We've been doing this for seven years. We can now tie marketing organizational decisions to actual performance of the company, to sales increases or <laughs> to sales decreases. Really, we can do that today. That's crazy. We are now contributing to firm value. By the way, this also greatly advances net promoter score. Additionally, other research, this is two weeks old. We developed a growth framework called Movable Middles. It's not to take anything away from the other growth frameworks like Pete Fader at Wharton and others who've done some really good work in this area. But we have figured out that using this concept of Movable Middles, which we're happy to explain to you, vastly outperforms other targeting methods. Not just vastly, it crushes them, it appears. Now, I wanna be fair. I'm fine to be wrong. I'm fine for you to do an experiment with this or other markers to do experiments with this and those who have, Ally and uh, AT&T who's working with us on this research and others, because if we're wrong, that's fine. We'll move in another direction. But again, we have a basis for what is the understanding of how to produce the most from the revenue that we have. And my favorite one is our consortium for AI personalization. I have never in my over three decades of marketing seen this kind of performance from anything that I've been a part of as I'm now seeing an AI used for purposes of personalization. Now at some level you have to be an idiot not to think that personalization doesn't matter, it does a lot. But we didn't know the sense of value is it? We didn't really know how to do it. Where this one gets a little comp, and by the way, the average gains we've seen so far are plus 149%. To be fair, there was one case study in here that's not fully processed. We believe the gains were zero. It doesn't work all the time. We need to learn to get this right. Now, one thing you should know, the new language of this is not A-B test split. It's not multivariant. It's one hot encoding with K-modes clustering using unsupervised machine learning. Learn it because you're gonna to need to understand and know what that means into the future. Now, if you were to take a lot of what MMA does, and this is a mathematical exercise, please don't tell me that there's misalignment to market value and marketing, I, I get that, we're working to improve that, but on a mathematical basis, we believe that some of what MMA has created could increase the market value of a company upwards of 10%. Again, that's a math exercise to try to have a better understanding about where to find value, and the main thesis of, in part, the MMA. Now, so knowledge is power, right? It's the purpose of our think tanks that try to come up with new ideas, that ask you for new ideas, that look for help from academia and others, anywhere in the industry that we can do experiments that help you get smarter, that we can, as the Hippocratic Oath suggests, work together to improve all the marketing. That is the idea here. And we invite you aggressively to join us in doing that because we believe that our profession and the health of it is dependent on our being better than we are today. Yesterday's board discussion touched on the fact that the CM role role is being mitigated. Today, Adweek said that the tenure is potentially even shorter. Separate conversations. Nonetheless, all of us know the net promoter score and everything suggests that we're not completely confident with our industry and we need to be better. But you all know the obvious, knowledge is one thing. We can create the best thinking in the world. We can make it unassailable and over time we will do everything we can to do that. But as Dale Carnegie said, if it's not applied, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter everyone. So, here's the question I have for you today. This is it everyone. Are you too busy to do better? Or will you join with us and work collectively to be not too busy to do better and to really work to improve the profession that I don't know about you, but I absolutely love. That is the point of possible. I hope you have a great show, everyone. Thank you.